Uh, part two of my of my presentation would be what are the similarities between 2004 and six and the next two years. So just those two or three or four years uh, that that India saw the best growth and the next two years. So uh, bond yields, look at the credit growth, look at corporate profit to GDP, look at earnings doubling, uh, Brent crude uh, being being uh, being being moderate, not expected to go up drastically. Some of the global tailwinds and a range-bound dollar and and a stable government. Let's start with the bond yields. And I'll spend a minute here, you know, trying to highlight that the bond yields have slipped from eight percent to six percent in the last twelve months, probably fourteen months, and now they are inching up. There is no need to panic, right? Uh, as we have seen in the last. 2004, 2006, when the bond yield came down from eight to sub five percent, I mean, actually came down from much a much higher level. But let's say you know, for, on a more sustainable, on a more steady state, eight percent, they actually went down from uh, from eight to sub five, and from five they went back to eight. But the but the but the duration or the or the over which it went from five to eight, that was exactly the time 2004 to six that India saw its best growth in terms of earnings, in terms of in terms of profitability, in terms of indexes, in terms of stock prices, right? And it, it's 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 obvious because uh, I mean I can spend more time on it in case somebody has any question on this later. But uh, the larger point I'm making here is that one should not get perturbed by the rising bond yields. They would go up, uh, but if they are going up, it only indicates that there is strength in the economy. There is purchasing power. There is Good inflation, there is healthy inflation, and that's why that's why they are they are going up. Short term, there will be hiccups, right? When I say short term, it could be mean a month, it could be two months, it could be three months, it could be four months, but that's about it. The year after that, or the, from a from a 12 to 24 months perspective, rising bond deals is good for the economy. Growing, especially for a growing economy like India. Okay, this is this is another um, um, another slide I wanted to highlight, and I let me try and uh, the idea is not to make it sound technical, uh, but but to make it to make it uh, you know very very simple, which is the credit growth, which is the banking credit growth, right? Has been was very very healthy at almost twenty to thirty percent in 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 the period two thousand four to six, while the GDP was was growing at about eight percent or thereabouts. Now that credit growth, banking credit growth, has slipped to. Um, low double digit or even single digit uh, you know yesterday we got the data for last last financial year when we clocked about sub 6% fi21 march 21 year ending we have clocked sub 6% credit growth now when you look at the multiplier the credit growth has grown at 2.8 times the gdp uh, the real gdp growth in the last 20 years right and the and the high and the low there could be you know the low could be one time and the high could be could be four times that's been the, and it's been just not, the multiplier's just not been there. Uh, it's just not been working for the last couple of years. And, 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 and we look at, look at some of, and we let's go down deep and understand why that's happened and why it can pull up, uh, pull up fast. Okay, let, this is like breaking that banking credit growth uh, to the various sections, right? Various sections, here we are talking retail, one is services, one is industry, right? Let's let's focus on retail because wo wo best wo best hai, wo pehle bhi best tha, aaj bhi best hai, right? Relatively best, right? Uh, when I say retail, it is it is people like you, me, you know, uh, people, uh, the businessmen, uh, service in service, they were taking some kind of loans, housing, consumer durable, personal, you know, uh, earlier, and now they are still also taking a loan. The amount may vary. But they're still out there and take availing of loans. So that number was growing at 20%, between 15 and 20%, let's say in 2008, right? That that purple line that has come down to close to 10%. It's still healthy. 10% is still healthy. The other 10% growth rate uh, line, which is which is the light blue, is uh, which is which is uh, which is retail. The earlier earlier one was the loans to services. Um, it's it's largely the it's largely the loans to industry which is that red line there which is which is uh, leading to this overall credit growth being very very uh, subdued 
it used to grow at 20% plus consistently between the period 2004 to 2011 and 12 right you see that uh, pink line and it used to be always always higher than higher than 20% that has come down to zero what does it mean it means the industry the corporates the industrialist right people putting power plants metal plants steel plants right can make um, the, the 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 pharma plants new capex that is not happening that is where and this is 30% of the overall credit so when 30% of the overall credit is not growing, it is at zero. You can imagine the 70% how, if, if seven, the balance 70%, if it's growing at, let's say, uh, the balance 70% is growing at, let's say, 8 or 9%, you multiply that and you'll get a number which is close to 5.5 and, and 6% weighted average. So the industry, the CAPEX need to, needs to shoot up drastically. And it has done that in the past, right? Again, as I said, 2004 to 2006, the private sector contribution rose from 33% of the of the banking credit to as much as 50% over a period of time right in that three three year period it rose from 32 to 44% which which meant the companies like an hdfc bank or indescent or nicac or a kotak or an axis used to on an average were lending 32% to the private sector and that increased to Close to forty-four percent, subsequently to fifty percent in that in that period, uh, simply because they had that risk appetite and there was demand. Now it's both the 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 demand is not there because corporates are not putting up as much capex and banks are also reluctant. So we are not saying it's going to go back uh, to 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 you know, the same uh, same same level, which means the current fifty percent goes up to let's say a seventy percent, but. The reluctance of the banks as well as the demand from the corporate side should substantially be better, let's say, a year down the line. And how will that be better? Let's look at the business confidence index, which used to be at 100. And this is on an on a, on a index level. Uh, so which used to be at 100 and went up to 111 uh, in, in, in uh, the peak, uh, which is, which is uh, the quarter of December 2019. That went down to as low as uh, 46 and, and is now at 85. It's still at 85. The quarter four numbers are still to be out, but um, my hunch is it will be it will be it will be plus 90. But it's still a journey that you have to travel from let's say a 90 to 111 or even more before that that corporate capex comes comes back. They want to put up more plants. They want to increase capacities. They want to spend money. That that period is probably maybe two quarters down the line. But believe me, it will it will surely come. And how do they they measure it? They look at overall economic uh, conditions. When I say they, I mean the I mean the the Tatas, the Birlas, the 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 Hindujas, and you know the Adanis and Reliances, uh, the, the the big the big companies as well as many other hundred the Asian paints and and you know the the pit lights of the world. Uh, the overall con economic condition, the present capacity utilization, the present investment climate, and the financial their own in financial position. These are the top four para uh, parameters on which they they judge whether the they're having that confidence or not. Okay, this is a very, very interesting slide and, I, and, I, and I'll request you to look at it at leisure later. What it, what, it, what it means is it's exactly mirroring what happened in India the next two years, which is FY22, the last two rows, FY22, FY23. It's exactly mirroring what happened in, in FY04 and 5. Again, we're throwing stats to you. In no way we're trying to uh, you know, uh, give an impression that that the the indexes and everything will go exactly the same way. The conditions are right, right? There is no reason one should not do well. To what extent that only time will tell, right? So FY twenty one, we have grown. The earnings have grown at twenty one percent despite being a COVID year. And FY zero three, the earnings had grown at eighteen percent. Next financial year, the current financial year, the earnings are expected to go up thirty three percent same period in that in that era fi04 the earnings short of 42 percent and you look at and it continues in fi23 earnings expected to go up 22 percent usame earnings had grown up gone up 29 percent broadly very as as mumbai it says mota mota it looks like you know it, it's it's kind of giving the signal that the earnings and believe me three years of 20 percent or more uh earnings growth is like is like Fantabulous. You can't get better than this, right? What it means is you're doubling your EPS from FI22 to FI23. Look at that number, 422 become 828. Three-year period earnings getting doubled. 
and believe me, we've just only traveled one year in that in that uh, three-year journey. That's that's very important uh, to understand, right? Also, the corporate profit to GDP, which used to be sub two percent in in that in that era of early two thousand, and shot up to almost six percent. You know, uh, where where uh, in in two thousand six, uh, it was at five point four percent in two thousand five. We are again again at at three percent. So. Even if we even if we go from 2.9 percent, which was FI9, FI20, the corporate profit to GDP, it's going to be still be far lower than 5 percent, which was which was which we had achieved in uh, FI05. So there is room for expansion. It it is for real, and it it can happen. It will surely happen, right? That's the that's the larger point. Uh, the the larger point we are trying to make out here. Okay, and this is the same. To be seen in conjunction, right? Which is, as I said, last time around, FI04 to 06, earnings had doubled. India ka Nifty EPS doubled ho gaya tha between FI04 and FI06, right? And Nifty usi doran had gone up 3x, three times, right? Which means the balance was obviously coming from re-rating. The FI flows, they had so much, so much of uh, positivity and the expectation, right? This time around, when the EPS is doubling, as I said, from 422 to 828 uh, ballpark, um, Nifty so far we have we have obviously you might say that you know FI20 was a negative 19 percent, therefore we have that base. Uh, friends, you look at the last time around FI3 may be negative tha, wo hai, minus unnes nahi tha, minus tera tha, but a negative base is a negative base, right? On which you have you. उस समय माइनस तेरह पे हम 75 हमने ग्रो किया था इस बार हमने माइनस नाइनटीन पे 60 ग्रो किया है राइट बट द लार्जर पॉइंट आई मेकिंग इज फ्रेंड्स देर इज इफ अर्निंग्स डबल्स एंड आर हंचेस आर 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 कैलकुलेशन सजेस्ट इट विल शोरली बी द केस देन यू कैन इमेजिन द द जर्नी दैट इज स्टिल देयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू इयर्स व्हिच इज एफ आई 22 टू एफ आई 23 लास्ट टाइम वी हैड द द निफ्टी हैड वन ऑफ थ्री टाइम्स दिस टाइम अराउंd Still to be seen, but there is no reason why it cannot be a very, very heavy number. And believe me, you and me, we are not here trying to buy Nifty. We are trying to buy sectors. We are trying to identify themes. We are trying to identify stocks, which obviously should do even better, much, much better. Okay, the other, some of the other smaller uh, but relevant things that were there then was obviously we had a very, very stable, progressive. Uh, you know, government then back then the UPA uh, in 2004 to 6, and now we have a stable NDA government. Uh, again, reforms, progressive, you know, trying to ensure India and the GDP grows, etc. These are some of the only the faces have changed, but I think the confidence uh, was 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 very very high back then in terms of in terms of in the government, and the confidence remains reasonable to very high in the current uh, in the current government as well. Accrued is is a very good enabler if it remains, and it, it's true for it's true for dollar as well. And I'll show you in the next slide. Uh, crude being range bound remains a very good enabler. Last time around, it was it was range one between forty and forty and eighty dollars. This time around, again, it's just just about in between right now. Uh, the brand uh, at at about sixty three dollars today, and a forty to eighty dollar plus minus twenty current. It remains. See what it what it means is that. For corporate India, if it remains in that you know plus or minus fifteen percent, they don't have to they don't have to bother too much. They don't have to think too much in terms of capex, in terms of trying to ensure that you know one or two quarters of price hikes they might they might not take and like take it later, right? Asian paints recently uh, decided to to up their prices because crude crude had gone up from from whatever forty dollars to to sixty dollars, right? Uh, so it definitely helps if things are within within R. It's the same the same way the way you approach Nifty. If Nifty is in a range of uh, fifteen percent plus or minus, we have a certain level of of confidence, conviction, uh, and and visibility. But imagine if Nifty were to oscillate between fourteen fifty percent year after year. I mean, who will get that confidence, right? As an as an investor, so it it has to be uh, you know a, a very 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 high visibility. High visibility stroke uh, controlled uh, range that uh, global tailwinds were were very very high then, uh, which meant most of the most of the developed and developing economies were were growing at seven eight nine percent. So was India. I mean, obviously the India was growing much faster, uh, uh, number two after China. Now as well, you look at 
आज भी इंडिया का जो ग्रोथ रेट है आई मीन दिस इज दिस इज आई एम एफ एंड वी एव नॉट पुट ऑन दीज नंबर आई एम एस इव इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इंडिया ग्रोइंग एट इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट विच इज क्लोज टू क्लोज टू यू नो टू टाइम्स दैट ऑफ दैट ऑफ द इमर्जिंग मार्केट्स एंड द एवरेज ऑफ इमर्जिंग मार्केट्स एंड द एडवांस इकोनॉमीज विच इज क्लोज टू अबाउट फाइव एंड हाफ परसेंट एंड एंड द सेम द सेम कंटिन्यूज नेक्स्ट ईयर एज वेल वेन दे वो ग्रो एट ग्रो एट Uh, next calendar year where they are expected to grow at 3 4 5% and we expected to grow close to 7%. What happens because of this is very important one should understand is uh, 2020 India was number 6 by rank in terms of GDP. Uh and it will continue the same in 2021. It was it is expected to be number 5 by 2025 and and number 3 by by 2030. right number 3 after china and us you see china moving up one place will will do one one level of uh, uh, flows for china india moving up from a number position of 6 to 3 will 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 involve it mean uh, it, it 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 connotes a different level of level of confidence stroke i mean imagine somebody looking at uh, looking at at the world and saying let's 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 target the top top 5 countries and let's launch our product there right and they would not focus uh, just an example right tomorrow when they say let's look look at even if the one was to say looks at the top 3 countries india is right up there in terms of being obviously this is this is um, what i'm talking about is 9 years down the line but believe me the stepping stones of that would be laid out in the next couple of years we need not wait till 2030 market discounts the, the whatever happens much much in advance please remember that right we have learned it we have learned it in the last two decades मार्केट डिस्काउंट एवरी थिंग वेरी वेरी मच इन एडवांस सो ट्वेंटी थर्टी में जो आज हम देख रहे हैं वो बहुत साल पहले उससे डिस्काउंट हो जाएगा नो द मार्केट विल नॉट वेट टिल ट्वेंटी थर्टी टू रियलाइज इट ओ इंडिया इज नॉट नंबर थ्री हाउ डू वी हाउ डू वी यू नो चेंज अर पोर्टफोलियो दिस इज वॉट आई मेंट सो दर्ली एटीज चाइना एंड इंडिया वर एक्सैक्टली द सिमिलर ओर्ली एटीज राइट एक्सैक्टली द सिमिलर वेन इट कम्स टू दी डी पी साइज लुक एट द टॉप लेफ्ट चार्ट चाइना वॉज टू टाइम्स and this is this is this is the gdp weight in in the msci uh, index by by you know by gdp china was two times right so 19% 8% uh look at it now right after 20 years i mean this is this is the data information but relevant today china is five times that of india right 45% contribution to 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 the index and india is 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 at uh, uh, 9% and which is true india is a three trillion economy so china is uh close to close to close to you know uh, four and a half uh, times there uh similarly what it means is that look at how china and i couldn't get the earlier index because it's available the look at the china's weightage in msci index uh of 38% today versus india which is at 10% so china has four gets four times more flows has a potential to get four times more flows because it is five times more in terms of the contribution to gdp Now imagine a situation by 2030 or closer to that stage, where India is 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 not a distant a six number six, which is today in the world. It's a, it's a very close. It's amongst number three, and it is very 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 close. It's 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 not. It's probably is again half of half of China, if not if not uh, any closer. Definitely much better than five times uh, being one fifth of of China today. So, folks, what I'm trying to highlight is. capital flows the fi money the fpi money right foreign portfolio investor fi money ek cheez hoti hai the portfolio money is another thing right what is for, uh, the foreign portfolio money it is it is the long only funds right ye wo funds hain jinhone jinhone jio uh, mein invest kiya 2020 uh, mein june mein right uh, these are these are private equities these are these are aifs right these are long only fis the long term investors jo 3 5 10 saalon ke liye invest karte hain jinhone जिन्होंने जोमेटो में इन्वेस्ट किया है जिन्होंने यू नो ऑल द द ओला ऊबर यू नो ऑल द ऑल द यूनिकॉर्न्स ऑफ 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 इन इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड दिस इज दैट मनी द एफपी है ये उसके लिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट है वी स्पोक अबाउट डॉलर बीइंग रेंजमेंट बिलीव मी इट हेल्प्स इफ इफ डॉलर रिमेंस इन इन कंट्रोल व्हेन आई से इन कंट्रोल इट मींस प्लस माइनस 5% Uh, last time around it was 45 to 47 uh, that was the range uh, 5 to 7 percent range mein tha is samay bhi expectation hai ki 5 7 percent ki range mein rehna chahiye which means 72 se 75 also means 70 to 75 agar is range mein rehta hai very good because as i said 
it's good to have have things within a very narrow range than being in a very high range it helps plan your budgets both both on a both on a both on the pnl side as well as on the balance sheet side when you're planning a capex uh, just just uh, just to put things in perspective us samay out performers kon the under performers kon the in 2004 and 6 राइट उस समय कैपिटल गुड्स ने बहुत शानदार परफॉर्मेंस दी थी कंज्यूमर ड्यूरेबल्स ने बहुत अच्छा दिया था आईटी ने बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस दिया था राइट बैंकिंग ने उतना अच्छा नहीं दिया था सिमिलरली ऑटो ने उतना अच्छा नहीं दिया था मेटल ने उतना अच्छा नहीं दिया था अगेन बाय द वे अगर आप इसको थोड़ा सा पीछे करेंगे टू से सेवन की जगह अगर आप टू से सेवन करेंगे ये काफी अलग सीनैरियो देगा तो डिपेंड्स आप कौन सा सीनैरियो ले रहे हैं अगर आप टू से सेवन लेंगे तो बैंकिंग इंडेक्स हेड आउट परफॉर्म ऑटो इंडेक्स हेड आउट परफॉर्म मेटल हेड आउट परफॉर्म राइट इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स On, on से period में आपने वो वो आपने वो आप देखने की कोशिश कर वट इज अट मेकिंग परफॉर्म द्रॉडर इंडेक्स इंडेक्स अगर वर्स्ट केस हमें लग रहा है किसी को भी लगे कि वर्स्ट केस यहां से दस परसेंट से ऊपर नहीं जाता लग रहा वी विल स्टिल स्टिल हैव सेक्टर्स विच विल विच विल विच विल गो अप ट्वेंटी परसेंट विद इन दैट सेक्टर्स वील हैव स्टॉक्स विच विल गो अप थर्टी परसेंट हमारा फोकस उस पर ही रहने वाला है वो कौन से स्टॉक्स हैं जो जो अपने खुद के सेक्टर से 1.5 टाइम्स को ग्रो कर सकते हैं वो कौन सा थीम है सेगमेंट है जो इंडेक्स से 1.5 टाइम्स ग्रो सकता है ओवरऑल टू एक्स इंडेक्स से ग्रो कर रहे हैं टू टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स वे होम 